I've just rented a limousine for £300 and realised it doesn't come with a driver. All that money and nothing to show for it. <laughs> right, so don't forget, comment your jokes down below. Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be showing you how you can clear up your Google TV on the new Chromecast devices. I'm getting a lot of messages at the moment about this device and one of the main topics are the amount of suggested content on the homepage. So in this video, we're quickly just going to show you how you can remove that and make your Chromecast look a lot cleaner. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, if you've bought a Chromecast, let me know what you think about it in the comments section down below. This is going to be a very quick video and we're going to be using two different methods so you can choose whichever you'd like. Right, so if you jump over to the Chromecast, as you can see, this is the standard home page. And as you can see, you get a lot of suggested content in there, just thrown in your face. A lot of it purchased content as well. And a lot of people don't like this. And as you can see, the apps are buried away inside as well. So let's show you the first method. And it's practically going to get rid of everything apart from your applications. And one more thing, if to you this does look obvious and you already know about it, I do apologise, but there are a lot of people out there that don't already know about this. Right, so if I just get rid of me in the top corner for one moment, if we go all the way across the top right and then click on settings, go down to accounts, go across and click across again, and then you're going to see a few different options. The one you want to select is apps only mode. And once we select that, it's going to enable apps only mode. If you click on continue, now when we click on the home page, you're going to see it's very basic, but a lot of people buy these streaming devices to use third party apps and not the official apps like Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, Hulu and all those. So they don't need that suggested content on that home page. So as you can see now, you've only got the home page at the top and this is all you can access. So you've got all your apps inside there and it removes all of that suggested content. Another thing to note as well, when in apps only mode, I did find the voice search doesn't work. So Google Store. And as you can see, sorry, I'm not available in this profile yet. To turn it off, it's as simple as going back into your settings, go to your accounts, across again, just disable the apps only mode. And when we click on home, it's going to start loading all that suggested content again. It may take a couple of seconds. Then there you go, you've got it all back. Now that's the first method and the first way to clean up your Google TV or your Chromecast device. And like I said, a lot of people may like the suggested content, but there's also a lot of people finding it very intrusive and annoying. Right, so now let's try the second method. So we're going to connect to a VPN and I've only found IP vanish servers that work. I've tried various different others. I've tried Ivacy, NordVPN, QuadVPN, and there's only actually IP Vanish that have worked with this method. If you do find any other servers or any other VPN that can do this, do comment them down below so other people watching the video can go and find out. So country is set to United Kingdom. If I go to city, I'm going to go to London, and then for the server, I'm going to scroll down this list. And then you see the server numbers 31, 32, and 33. Now, if I click on 31 and click on connect, I'm going to allow the connection request. Now, give it a few moments. Now, it's connected to a London server. If I click the home button, you see it's just gone black with a loading symbol. And now, we've not had to put it into apps only mode. And you've actually still got the apps section on the top bar as well as the library. So if you don't already have a VPN or you're interested at getting and testing IP Vanish, I will leave a discounted link in the comments section down below. It is an affiliated link, so it does support the channel, but it also gives you the best deals. So if you do use my links, I just want to say thank you very much and you're an absolute legend. It does still show you the Google Play Movies and TV on the home screen as well, but it does show you your applications at the top of the home page. And the voice search should still work. Google Play Store. Opening Google Play Games. I didn't say that. I said store on the end, but it doesn't seem to like me, this um, Google device. <laughs> but I'm not the best at speaking. Obviously, when connecting to a VPN, these VPN servers with IP Vanish don't work with all streaming services. So Netflix does work, but Prime Video, Disney Plus and apps like that, they don't work on this VPN. But all of your third party apps like your Cinema HD, BTV, 
Film Plus, all of those will still work. And then obviously to get back to how the home screen looked before, so the default launcher, you can simply disconnect or you can connect to a different server and then what you'll see, it'll start loading up that default look and that default interface with all the suggested content in there. So that's just a couple of different ways you can clean up the home page and get rid of suggested content on your new Chromecast with Google TV. Now, if you've found any other different methods, do be sure to comment those down below. And we will have more Chromecast videos coming, showing you different tips and features to make your streaming experience better. Right, so like I said, this may not appeal to a lot of people. I do apologize for that, but I know it will appeal to at least one person, which makes this video worth making. <laughs> right, so that being said, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Tada! That the home screen just looks flooded with all the different suggestions. So that's just a couple of ways of how. of how. <laughs> now, if you found any other ways or. Now, if you find. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> and we will have a different. No.